FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. The Dow's off 94 points, while the S&P is up 5. The NASDAQ 100 is up 61. The Russell's off 2 points. The semis are up 10. Trannies are off 29. we got a mixed bag. Gold's up a buck. Silver's up a nickel. Light to recruit is off 24 cents. Natural gas back 6 pennies. And a 30-year treasury printed out at 118.06. That's up 11 ticks. Let's take a look at that 9 panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side when we were together yesterday there was a new profile that's formed that was forming it has formed now i've got two new profiles for the es mini the one on the black background charts uh, for e-signal the other on the white background charts which we'll take a look at during the show right now we can see that price is struggling to get to the bottom of the black background charts daily profile that levels 44 47 of course, with the spot volatility being below above its 50-day exponential moving average, that is a struggle. It creates a struggle for the S&P 500 for the rallies. If we take a look at the NQ, it also formed a new profile. It changed. And last night's profile has support at 14,692, resistance up at 15,358. It's a solid profile. We take a look at the U.S. dollar index. It also provided a new profile for us with the resistance being tested today. That resistance is up at 103.57. The high today, 103.62. Goldilocks also forming a new profile. Bullish in structure. That says keep an eye both on support as well as the center, which is 1918 and 1928.60. A close above 1928.60 should uh, signal to you and I a move to the 1953.50 level. Silver. In a world of its own, it's got a nice TD9 count bottom. Yesterday, price closed with a wide ranging bar above the resistance level, the top of its profile. Silver wants to add higher. If we take a look at Light Sweet Crude, still trading below the bottom of its daily profile. In fact, yesterday was a bearish message. Why bearish? Because a new profile did form. It was above price, and where price found resistance was the center. Didn't even make its way all the way up there, but pretty close, and that's up at the 8194 level. Natural gas is trading back inside a swing point from back in July. That's the July, I'm sorry, the August 2nd swing point out there. And a close today below 269. Well, that's going to suggest a run back to 262, maybe even a test of that swing low from August the 2nd. And the 30 year Treasury doesn't have any kind of bottom signal here, but you'll find out during the show when we go take a review of the 30 year bonds for Mike W. That it's got a TD9 count bottom that's going to form. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.